What is going on, people? Deejus here with another Advanced Force by Web replay analysis. Today we're going back to the user submitted series, and a lot of y'all been asking me, oh, let's do a lower level game. You keep doing 1000, 1100. All right, you get your wish. We're doing a low, low level game today. And when I say low, I'm not talking 900. I'm not talking 800. I'm talking 750. We're below the beginning point for an advanced force by Boba Cap. These guys have a losing record overall. It is, uh, it's something. These guys are, uh, you know, maybe a little bit at the bottom of the baboon barrel. Uh, you know, maybe not one of the great apes. Uh, <laughs> this is, uh, it's something. And, uh, yeah, so this is gonna be an interesting match. I'm gonna be saying a lot of stuff because there's gonna be a lot of mistakes but I will say I, I, I shout on them a bit but these guys actually played pretty decently for their level I will say uh, so I'm proud of them for that yeah, so let's learn some stuff from this match let's have some fun uh, but right now it's uh this map right here is called rhythmical bustle I've never played on it but it is in the standard league rotation right now honestly I don't have too much to say about it uh, I think Mang's reviewed a game on it one time uh, it's two base versus one base, but the two bases slow down by having to go through this forest and over the shoal to get over here Whereas the one base does have the advantage of reinforcing this area quicker Typically the two base will take control of the comp tower You can put an artillery over there uh, to protect your infantry capping going over the river over there The two base should be pushing over here and, and maintain control of these two bases uh, But a lot of things weird happen sometimes the one base side does better than expect against the two base vice versa uh, so Pretty standard map, airport in the corner, you get that a little bit later. Air units aren't completely dominant in this map, uh, but they're pretty decent. Maybe a little lower than average, I would say. I would still build a B-copter or two, but it's not necessarily a B-copter spam map. It's a relatively high income map, a little above average. Uh, so, yeah, nothing too crazy about this map. Uh, you know, complete shoal, road, middle, a lot of fights are going to be happening in the middle, not much cover. You can have some cover behind these pipe scenes before they are burst. Same with this one over here. Uh, the two base will be able to reinforce much quicker once you burst the pipe seam. Uh, like I said earlier, you could go over the shoal at the beginning, but later on, maybe around turn 10 or so, you might consider busting through that pipe seam. Faster reinforcement, maybe going for a base lock. Uh, HQ, eh, HQ is not that vulnerable, but it's semi-vulnerable. Typically, you're just going to want to win the middle on this map, to be perfectly honest. You win the middle, you basically win the game. You can front shift to the top, you can front shift to the bottom, and you don't have to worry about Fang. Uh, but anyway, let's talk about uh, the matchup right here. So in true 17, 750 fashion, uh, we have a tier two or tier three versus tier two matchup here. Uh, I don't think they quite understood, uh, or maybe I, I don't know what Black Blup was thinking, uh, but he, he chose a tier down. And uh, Jay the Peacemaker, on the other hand, he chose the normal tier, which is tier two, which Eagle. Now. This is gonna be a hard match for Black Blub. I'm just gonna get out. Let me get out of the way. There's some. I, I like the name Black Blub. I'm just gonna throw it out there. Some something alluring about the name. I, you know, some 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 things just sound. Say, they feel good to say. And I like saying Black Blub. So I'm gonna keep saying Black Blub, uh, with a little at the end. But uh, anyway, so Kindle to win this matchup, you're gonna have to have at least like a two city advantage, but that means 4,000 advantage over your opponent. You're gonna have to have two more cities than your opponent, or else you're just gonna lose to Eagle, because Eagle's a tier up for a reason. He's got the best superpower in the game. Uh, his air units are pretty decent too, but air units aren't that important here, so it's mostly about the superpower and worrying about that. Kindle needs to strike early. Kindle needs to get control over more properties than the Eagle player. Like I said, minimum two cities over the opponent. If you don't have at least two cities over the opponent by turn like 10, maybe 15 at the latest, you've you've lost. You're why you're still playing. Like he's gonna get the superpower, you're gonna lose. So you need to press early, you need to press often, you need to maintain having that city advantage, a property advantage. You should get it pretty easily to be perfect glanced with Kindle's day to day is so much stronger than Eagles. So you should get it. Uh, if you are at a similar level as your opponent, skill wise that is, but uh, on the other hand, Jay, the Peacemaker, as Eagle, you can just sit back, chill, try to keep it close. Maybe let your opponent have one more property than you. You could let them have two more properties than you. It's not the end of the world. You can still win with that. Like I said, minimum for Kindle, two more properties than your opponent, 4K advantage. So if you're Eagle and you're down 4K, it's not the end of the world. You're still thick in it. I'd say at that point, it's kind of an even match, to be perfectly honest. Being behind 4K with Eagle is just better than Kindle. Uh, or no, equal with Kindle, I would say, in that in this sort of matchup. So... Very uh, interesting matchup. Not often you see uh, 
wonky tiers going one after another. This is not even a tournament match. This is just a global league match too, which is even stranger that they didn't go in and out of tiers and whatnot. So a little a little wonky, but you know, 1750, baby. I remember when I was, actually, I don't think I ever was a 750, uh, but you know. Bottom of the baboon bear, ooh ah, let's go. So anyway, without further ado, let's start the game. And uh, yeah, Black Blup is going to start off on the left in the black hole. I changed the colors again for you color blindies. I'm feeling generous this week, so what can I say? Typical start, uh, except not typical because Black Blup is actually going for the income rather than the base. I disagree with that already. There is no chains going on over here. There's no real reason to get that early. You might get a tank a turn earlier, perhaps. I haven't calculated it, but like, I don't see that working out very well, so. Curious, but then it looks like freaking Jay the Peacemaker. Okay, no, Jay didn't copy him. Jay had his own idea. So Jay's playing a little bit better in the opening so far. Uh, but just a little strange. And uh, yeah, I like this chain over here. You gotta go for the chain. So, okay, good for Black Blub, not going back. Go for the chain over here. You can get this, then you can get that. Uh, some people get a little aggressive. You might want to go for this and then that, but I think the two base is going to get that comm tower eventually. Uh, maybe not immediately because there's some early pressure from the one base, but with more units, with the artillery lock, when you bust open that pipe seam, you're not going to be able to hold that tower as the one base. So if you hold it earlier, good for you. Hooray. Maybe it's Javier. It's viable. When you have two towers, you can just say GG. Good game. Game over at turn eight, maybe. But uh, every other CO, yeah, you're not going to hold that. So the Blupster going for the cap now, finally on the base. Going for the chain over here, I like that from Jay the Peacemaker, not getting too aggressive, he is the one base, recognizing that. So, pretty standard stuff, pretty standard stuff. Um, maybe at this point you opt for an artillery just to ensure that you get that cap. I don't I don't hate an early artillery because you can protect and you can bust up the pipe seam later. I actually do love a good artillery early on in this game. Building it on the uh, one base side, I guess, to lock the uh, comm tower, that is actually semi-viable. I don't hate it. I don't particularly like artillery on the weak side, generally. Um, but hey, maybe Jay can make it work. You know, let's see what Jay can do with that. And then we got the blubster, just blubbing around. Builds a tank on his strong side. Don't, don't disagree with that particularly much, but I probably would have built it on this base since it's closer to the action. It's not gonna get through that pipe scene. So I probably would have built a tank here, or maybe he couldn't, cause, oh, he just capped it. So he couldn't have done it anyway. So can't hate, can't hate. So Jay the Peacemaker will actually be able to interrupt this, but he will have to stop this cap to interrupt and then he can lock it with his artillery. So he's gonna have to invest a lot just to lock that uh, tower early. I don't think it's worth it at this point. He's gonna have to stop that cap Force the artillery over here. The tank will wrap around eventually. Uh, I just don't really like that idea at this point. Maybe if you're facing Javier or something, you do something like that. But just facing a, a Kindle like this, uh, I don't I don't quite agree with that. Uh, but you know, let the baboons fight. That's, that's what I always say. When I go to the zoo, first thing I do, throw a banana in the cage uh, and I say, let the baboons fight. But these baboons, at the bottom of the baboon barrel, these are these are kind of monkeys that uh, you might might think a, a rock is a banana, uh, you know. Not not the brightest baboons. Let's just say that <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna stop shitting on these guys. These guys are cool. I, uh, they submitted the game. I'm not gonna say who submitted the game. They submitted the game. Props to them. Uh, I, I love beginner players because you always get better. There's only one way to go is up. Base skip over here. Okay, I like the artillery. I like that. You can bust open the pipe scene. Recon. Uh, I don't like that because you base skip for it. Uh, maybe if you could get another infantry, it could be semi-viable. But the, the, the trees there, you have the you know the planes over here. It's, the recon's not going to be particularly great on this map. Maybe actually even better on the one base because you can actually get to this road here. And then maybe to the middle. I don't really like recons on this map in general, though. I would have saved up money and then got double tanks next turn. If you save that extra 4k, you have three. So let's say, let's go, let's go back a turn. You don't build that? Look, you have 4K, next turn you're gonna have 16K, right? No, actually, you're gonna buy two infantry. So then next, so you're gonna have 2K, so next turn you have 14K. So you can get a tank, an artillery, and an infantry. That's beautiful right there. Or you can, if you're feeling feisty, you can base skip and get two tanks. Either one of those is better than getting a, a recon, in my opinion. So yeah, this is a bit late, and it didn't block anything, and uh, base skipped over here. You don't wanna base skip on your weak side. That's like the last place you wanna base skip, especially with artillery. You need as many units as possible to, you know, go around that artillery, protect it. Uh, but, uh, you know, 
Yeah, how, how are you gonna defend that artillery from the uh, from the tank? I mean, you have this mountain here, luckily, to protect the artillery, but um, in the long term, when there's multiple tanks coming in, I don't know how, I don't know how Jay's gonna, gonna deal with that. The blup is gonna, I don't know, but, <laughs> but I don't, what, why you do, oh, why? Why are you right in front of the pipe seat? Now you can't break it. I don't get it. Okay, that's cool. But now you have to pretend protect that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh boy. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you gotta cover up this with an infantry. You gotta cover this up with an infantry. And you gotta cover up this with an infantry. You gotta surround this. You gotta dedicate everything, basically, to protecting that artillery at this point. Which is not ideal. Holy mother of God. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, thank God there's a force there. I was about to say that is literally the worst thing I've ever seen until I saw that there was a force right there. That would have been nearly a one shot. Uh, Black Blub was like, what the blub? Like, he thought I thought he could get a kill right there. Not th I said what the blub too, but you know, it is what it is. No one's going in the middle too much so far. Although because of this early artillery in the base skip, green is nowhere near there. The Blupster, on the other hand, does have this property. Blup has a stronger presence in the middle in general. Uh, right now, I'd argue that the Blup has the better uh, beginning game so far. The artillery was a bad play. The recon was a bad play. The, the, uh, the base skip was a bad play. Um, I honestly, Blup's doing pretty good. I wouldn't. I'm not able to differentiate too much from this player from like a 900 at this point. He's playing pretty well. I would say he has a strong start so far. I can't hate on the Blup. Can't hate on the Blup. Never. Hate. Uh, so this artillery is super passive. I guess it locks this temporarily, but you can look one two That's dead and then you get the artillery like these walls only last for so long And they're not gonna last that long when you have multiple tanks multiple threats streaming You got an infantry streaming in soon. You're gonna have an artillery blasting up this pipe scene I just don't like weak side artilleries. All right. I say it in many many videos and I'll say it in many many more I don't know what the this artillery is just chilling there What the literal blub? If anything, put it here, so if it's at least not attacking what's on the comp tower, then it at least hits the pipe seam, like... Ugh. Wait, what? Double base skip for a medium tank. Okay. I don't recommend that. I mean, there, I, see, I understand there's two scary tanks here, but if you build a tank there, then you're even on tanks and you have an artillery, like... And he's gonna break through... Anyway, he's gonna break through infantry here, infantry there, attack the artillery, attack whatever the hell, like, this isn't even a range, it can't even reach that far. One, two, three, four, five. It only reaches that road, like, oh, yeah, okay, uh, Blup's, let's see if Blup can really take advantage of this. Uh, I believe in Blup. I don't know why I'm rooting for Blup early, but I am. I, I'm gonna switch over soon, I think. I, I can't favor a player too much. I don't even remember who submitted this. Uh, to be perfectly honest. This tank gets a free hit in here. Uh, good, good recognition that there's zero threats at all. There's one artillery here, there's one artillery here, there's a tank there, and there's the medium tank here. That's basically all the threats. There's nothing in the middle right now. Uh, so good on Blup recognizing that. I don't see why he didn't just kill this infantry and get a hit on that artillery though. But... Alright. I under Maybe he just, you know... I don't know. He's feeling nice. Recon comes in. Uh, in the thick of the swarm of tanks to get a hit off on an infantry. That is a waste of 4k. I can confirm that. This is a pretty decent infantry wall. Yeah, I think it'll hold actually. Uh, without any powers or anything in play, it should hold. So uh, not a bad infantry wall. Good job on, on Jay recognizing you can make an infantry wall. I like this little push over here. Uh, it's pretty well defended. Yeah, yeah. This it'll kill these two and hit the. Uh, it doesn't have a third unit to attack the artillery because he brought this tank down over here. Uh, so and there's also a medium tank as backup. So actually, pretty decent walls. Jay did a good t turn this turn with the walls. Let's see what he makes. Let's see if he base skips again. Okay, he doesn't base skip. You can already tell like he's a little lackluster on the units. His, his unit counts are gonna die. Like once that 4 HP infantry dies, once that 2 HP infantry dies, uh, we're gonna see a, a definite unit count advantage for Mr. Blup. Um, Baboomba. Bye bye Recon, Baboomba. Going for the cap rather than the kill. 
Okay. I might have gone for the kill there for unit count advantage, but because you're going to get that cap over there eventually anyway. There's no way he's going to stop him. So maybe I would have done that. Now you probably want to interrupt this because uh, that medium tank. See that medium tank? If it was a normal tank, it would actually be threatening to damage this tank and punish it for attacking in this infantry over here. But, but since he built a medium tank, it's so slow and laggy. It's just like, eh, where, where's the... It's like, um, instead of like a fit young track star you got a big beefy bodybuilder but he's slow as shit and he's like uh, where's he at like he's strong but it takes forever to get places you know like okay good there's a mountain there i was like what the literal blub uh okay so really defensive on these caps that should be his he's kindle i wouldn't fret about that shit like honestly i'd be killing shit you know I wouldn't be afraid, but I think Blup's a little defensive. Maybe he got hurt in the past. He has some trauma from the lower ladders. You know, some some of the lower ladder stuff, it's traumatizing. The things you see, the pipe runners, the mega tanks, the base skips. Oh god, I can't even imagine. There's probably like 50 base skips a game. That shit's traumatizing. Going for the cap on the city. Uh, sorry, not the city. I'm the calm tower going for that against the blubster not gonna happen though it can interrupt here and then play an artillery right there And then it's just shut down easy peasy put in the forest though. Don't put it here put in the forest You can attack the pipe scene and you can attack there double the utility don't limit yourself. The sky is the limit eagle hee <laughs> hee no uh, But yeah, he just loves this spot Just put it here or some shit but yeah, I guess, I guess he couldn't read, but uh, I don't like it. And getting aggressive with these infantry over here. They're in the middle. Look at these tanks. One, two, three, four tanks. One tank. This thing's not doing jack shit. It's not defending anything. If I'm the blubster, front shift. All this shit down here, boom. Murder, 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 murder. Kill all these infantry. Take advantage of it. Get that unit cap pumped up. Builds a copter for Jay the Peacemaker. It doesn't seem very peaceful right now. And the blubster has the income advantage. Brings in the artillery in the golden spot in that nice little tucked forest. I like how he built the... Good job. Let's give a round of applause for Mr. Blub. He built an anti before he saw the first copter because he knew he was facing an eagle. That is some proactivity right there. That's a prophylactic move. That is... Congrats to Mr. Blub. That is a... Uh, that is a thousand at least uh, move. Oh, this is kind of dumb. Why are you fighting? I mean, you can have some artillery, but I... You know, I don't know if it's worth it. I understand the appeal. I would have just murdered all these things and got the caps, though, rather than, you know, I don't hate it. He's going to kill the, yeah, no. It's different structure, different folks. And he's just, um, has he even captured this shit yet? What the hell? How did he not capture this bullshit? And this tank ain't letting it happen. Where'd this shit come from? Damn, it came out of the woodworks. Like, no, no. Oh no. You ain't getting that shit. Yeah, you're not getting that e Alright, well that's one way to lose an infantry. I'm gonna teach their own. Some people are suicidal. Mang's infantry alert. Mang's infantry alert. Boom, boom, two, damn, E, Z. He should have put it over here. Well, whatever. Like I said, their artillery position has been a little sus using the boomer uh the zoomer boomer term uh from uh, that game it's a little sus for you for you four-year-olds out there watching this um but uh yeah so building a copter chain um okay i understand the appeal is eagle just don't base skip for it build a tank and infantry this turn nice okay not bad good production turn uh really uh focusing on this cap but you're not gonna get that no matter what like uh, I don't I don't see the appeal in it. They're just both sacking units just to get comp towers when you should be using them in the middle. I'd be using all my my units over here to grab the middle because it's it's a little tough for uh, Jay the Peacemaker to get that cap right there. I would stop him getting this two caps, stop him from getting this cap. He already has a 3k advantage. Like I said, 4k advantage, minimum. Kindle, you need that 4k advantage. 3k is nice, 4k, ideal against Eagle. You are a tier down. You're a day-to-day -day CO as Kindle. Eagle is a superpower CO. So it's different kind of uh, game plans, okay? Eagle's playing the long game. Kindle's playing the strong game. Sorry, I just like rhyming it. That didn't even make too much.
much sense. But why didn't he just kill off that? Now that dies to an artillery. Like, just needless infantry deaths is the name of the game so far. Just needless. At least he's stopping the caps. Stop that cap. Yeah, cap that, stab that. Boom. Look at that coverage, too. Uh, 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 that copter is gonna get hit. Talk shit, get hit. Uh, just allowing that cap to happen, though. I would've, uh... Wait, what the hell was that? What did that artillery even fire on? What the hell did that artillery fire on? It killed a 4 HP? Lord have mercy on my soul. Okay, he just gave up a cap. Like I said, you want to have the advantage. And he worked hard to get the advantage, but he couldn't find a simple kill that and then just move his infantry up and stop it. But Alright, well, Jay should be happy. Jay will be actually inching closer to having equal income. Gets it now. Now Black Blup is only ahead by one single K. Uh, yeah, there you go. That's an angst infantry right there. Bye-bye. And uh, that copter is right out of this and just teasing. I was like, eh, get me if you can. You won't, though. Such a tease. Such a tease. Now, boomba. No one's getting this shit, okay? Give up. No one's getting. Give, give up. It's the comp. Look, all this real estate in the meal. It's free real estate. Just get it. Why are you focusing on a stupid comp tower? It's 10%. Look at all this mun mun. You need the money. You don't need the. Why? Why you do this? Why? Okay, well, at least. Um, so, Black Club has control of the center for the most part. I mean, there's a rogue medium tank coming in that can get a pretty nice strike on here. I mean, they will be hit by a, an anti air, but that's still not terrible. Uh, but as Eagle, you probably don't want to take that engagement anyways. Eagle, like I said, you want to maintain your unit count. You want to get to 35 units. If you get to 35 units as Eagle on a 3-2 base map, you're doing pretty damn good. So he's Eagle, sit back. Take this back. Bring it out of range. Stockpile some copters. Stockpile some tanks. Stockpile some infantry. Don't send them through their imminent death. Like, just don't do that. Let's get let's get some units now. 20 is not going to cut it. Let's not, let's not send everything to die now. So now we're having the proliferation of medium tanks. When I see proliferation medium tanks, that means it should be going neo tanks. That means it should be going air units. Seems like Jay the Peacemaker already got that memory. He's going air unit chain. Two anti-air though, so that'll probably shut it down. You only need two anti-air for three uh, copters and he has a copter of his own as a turn. So I'm liking the build of Black Bluff. I honestly like his build better so far. Uh, and uh, Jay the Peacemaker, like I just, like on cue, being more defensive, smart move. It might seem like, oh, he's a wimp. He's, he's eagle though, like, chill. Like, sometimes you need to be wimpy to win. Wimps win, sometimes. Just gonna throw that out there. Hope you had a little brain blast and realize that. Sometimes you can be defensive and win. You know, just how it is. So, Black Blup, um, I don't like the Urban Blight without, that literally did nothing. Okay, 105. That did 7,000 worth of damage. That was one of the shittiest Urban Blights I've seen in months. Typically, you want to use an Urban Blight when you want to attack. Is he going to at least do some attacks with it? To justify that shardy little bit of a... CO power? Like... Okay, got one... Like... Yeah, that was just a terrible... Sometimes, uh, newer players, they just get your super power or CO charge. Like, oh, press, press, go! Calm down. When do you think it would be best to use that CO power? What is your goal from this CO power? What are you going to gain that you couldn't have gained if you did not use that CO power? Instead of just jamming your thumb down and pressing that damn button as soon as you see it flash up, like uh, like one of those freaking Pavlov's dogs, like monkeys, you can get like a peanut or some shit, like and like a peanut comes down or some shit, like we're not, we have moved on beyond that level. Most of us, at least. <laughs> so, just, you know, hold off. Let's not press that button. You can get the peanut later. You can buy some peanuts. You don't have to press a button to get peanuts these days. I know, it's crazy. <laughs> I, don't want to hear, I don't even know what I'm saying. I like this artillery, though. Good placement. Protects that. Protects this. Yeah, consolidate. Get an infantry up here. Cap that. 
Uh, he's currently behind 2k. It could be worse. I assume it is going to be worse. He's going to be behind 4k. The golden number is upon us. The golden number of 4k is upon us. So, I think it would be dead even with that number. So, right now, defensive. I like it. Green, be defensive. You earned it, buddy. You did some dumb shit. You got burned. You're behind in unit count because of it. But uh, let's see what Blup can... Let's see if Blup has the offensive... Uh, firepower to actually get something from having his position in the middle he could be more aggressive in the middle mind you i think he could put those in like an artillery here i think he could put a medium tank here he has a lot of units he could ship this medium tank to the middle i think he should go all out in the middle nice death ball it you're not going to push here there's two bases you might as well put them all in the middle death ball take all four of these middle properties maybe take this property as well and then say g jizzle you're up 6k 8k i don't even know how many k special k uh, so yeah, might as well do that. But, uh, let's see what he actually does. He has a lot of anti-air. One, two, three, four. How many copters? One, two, three, four. Okay, he thinks he knows the copter ratio is one to one. I mean... It's not. But some people just hate copters. You know, there's copter haters out there. Can't stop them. But, uh, you know, okay, just... Kind of defensive on the offensive. I mean, he's ahead 4k, but I would... And back up that shit, like... You know, okay, at least he has the mech there. Okay, I kind of like this mech here. Don't want to mech spam, though. I think one mech is fine over there. Although he's going to get a free hit with his tank right there, I guess. And, well, this medium tank will be able to intervene. Uh, so let's see what he can do about that. He's definitely going to uh, block... Okay, he attacks the medium tank with the copter. Attacks it with two copters. Those are strong copters, mind you. Damn, that was pretty good rolls right there. Um, but they're still going to die. And he has that uh, artillery. And actually, because he doesn't have enough units in the middle, he's split down here and he's split down here. He cannot really punish this as much as you would really want to punish it. Because he's split up, these guys are going to have to spend a turn moving up over here, mobilizing. Whereas, you kill off both copters, and then your medium tank does like four or five damage to that artillery, and that's about it. And then it dies to the other medium tank. So, I like this move by Jay. I honestly do. He sensed that uh, Black Bluff was a bit of a dabbler. He's dabbling up here. He's dabbling down here. Most of Jay's forces are up here. I mean, there's infantry and shit, but like just one copter and some tanks. He's probably gonna shift this up, shift this up, shift this up. Like put an artillery here to guard this property maybe. Move this one to guard this uh, property. Actually, he can't even cap in the turn. Just keep an artillery here to hold down the fort. Keep an artillery down here to hold down the fort. And then go all out in the middle, go all out in the top. I don't care. Uh, but let's see what he does. Yeah, hold back. Great idea. I like this. Jay, good job. Good job. Uh, bad job. Bad job. Bad job. Boomba. Boomba. Uh, yeah, you're not going to defend those uh, anti air. Just going to throw it out there. There's uh, quite a few more units. Let's see if Black Bluff can shift all these forces northward, though. We don't. Don't attack into that. Shift them northward. You want to consolidate your forces. You want to push them all on the top. Get a nice death ball. Death ball is the most simple concept beginners can use. Just mash all the units together. More opportunities, more dynamic. Uh, you just have like more opportunities to attack. You break through a line, you can break through something more, break through more. The more units you have to attack, the better. It's very simple, but some people don't really quite understand it. Uh, so you, you want to swell all your units together. Built a missiles and I was just sleeping. I didn't even see that shit down there. I don't know what the hell that is. It's not even near the airport. It's on the one base side. Nowhere near the airport. There's literally one single copter right there. And he built a damn missiles. 750s, my friend. 750s. I have never seen the missiles on a map like this in my lifetime. But we're in the 750s. What? Bad friendship, bad friendship, bad friendship. Gotta get more units up there. Come on. He's gonna punish the shit out of you now. Watch Jay the whatever the hell uh, get some nice boombies are going on over here. Whatever a boombie is. That's just stupid. This is your weak side, dude. What are you doing? So Jay's uh, giving, giving the love back. Oh, he's going for a superpower. I was like, has this guy lost his damn mind? Okay, he's going for a superpower. Uh, I would attack with these units first just to see if he can get some more charge first, but apparently he's just uh, going gung-ho. Get that artillery in range of the things first. There you go. Okay. This actually isn't too bad now that I see that he has the super pre prepared. 
boom ba la ba 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 boom ba la ba 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 Yeah, kill that. Okay, this is gonna be a pretty strong super. It's gonna be a pretty strong super. Uh, what did we start off as? 15,000, or 150,000 to 30, uh, to, uh, no, 170,000 170, to 110,000. So pretty, let's see what Jay can do. Let's get back to where we were. Nice. I don't like the mech there. That's kind of weird, but okay. Now let's see what we can do to the magic. Boom. -ba. Boom. Medium tank. Boom. Brutal. Oh, that's going to hurt. Dead. Oh, and just one HP. That sucks. Oh, this is brutal. This is a good lightning strike. Okay, I see you, Jay. I see you, Jay. I see you, Jay. Boom. Oh, I don't know about the attacking into the strong side over here, but maybe, I mean, it's fun to watch, so I can't complain. He's still sacking the copter. I mean, he got two tank hits at least, so it's not completely useless, but... I... Why are you attacking an infantry? What? Come on, man. What you doing? At least he, you know, took him down from 170,000 to a sweet crisp. 100,000 on the dot. I haven't seen that before. But uh, yeah, so Black Blub, he's ahead 3K in income advantage. Uh, his unit count is basically the exact same. I mean, that superpower did work, man. 38 to 27, psych. Now we're back even, so that was pretty good. High society. I don't recommend using high society like ever, but uh, especially on, it needs to be a, like, a really high income lap nap. You have to have at least like 2,700 in uh, income from 27,000 in income before even considering using high society. So that's kind of weird, but you know, 17, 750. When I don't know what there's going on, I'm just going to say 750. That explains it all. Okay. Boom. Ba -da -ba. Uh, yeah. Okay. That's going to one shot. What the peaceful copter? hippies these days I don't this high society sucks dude and the missiles okay Mang's infantry alert Mang's infantry like okay yeah good luck with that but uh that was um underwhelming dude you got blupped last turn that's your best reaction that's your best reaction Let's see what, uh, boom, bada boom, bada boom, bada boom, bum, boom, bada boom, bada boom, 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 boom. That's not really a good wall, but okay, that might actually hold. Kill off the copter, that won't die in one shot to anything, so. Or maybe it would die in one shot to an anti I forget. With one tower, I forget if it's a one guaranteed one hit KO on a uh, infantry enough woods. We will find out next turn. Stay tuned! But for now, yeah, that's not gonna work. They're getting a little aggressive over here, but there's literally... Imagine if that was an anti -air. You could have front shifted up there like turns ago. But it's missiles. Missiles on the weak side. Farthest point away from the airport on the entire map. Maybe he thought he could missile lock his own airport. Giving him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe he had a few too many uh, baboon brews, baboon beers, and was like. Uh, 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 uh. <clears throat> Sorry, that was uh, offensive to baboons everywhere, but that's what I, uh... I don't know how else you justify that. I'm just gonna put it that way. I don't know how else you justify it. That literally made no sense. Like, was it a misclick? I don't think it was. I... But, uh, Jay the Pecan or whatever. <laughs> Jay the Peacemaker. Jay, Jay, Jay's a Pecan, dude. These, this day and age, you can be a Pecan if you want to. Now they got furry fest to get pecan fest. Man, would I be a pecan or would I be a um? What would I be? No, I'd be a cashew, dude. Hell, I'll be an almond. Fuck yeah, I'll be an almond. Almond fest 2023 represent. You're all invited. Uh, uh, I'm gonna go on a tangent, but one year, uh, for Christmas, my grandmother, she's not even senile. She was like 85 at the time. I was like uh, 14 years old. And uh, I got a bunch of presents from my parents and stuff. I got like a skateboard and a bunch of other cool stuff. I ended up by uh, a gift from my grandma. She got me a bag of unsalted almonds. I was like, haha, it's a good joke, grandma. She's like, I thought you'd like them. I was like, uh, and that was her gift. 
Her gift was a bag of almonds. Unsalted. I don't even like unsalted. I could deal with salted, maybe. Here's her unsalted, not mesquite barbecue, not chili lime. Unsalted, plain ash cashews, probably bought in 1958. And just gave them to me as a re-gift for the 80th time from, I don't even remember what decade. I didn't even, I don't think I even took them home. I think I just left them at her house. I didn't want that shit. So, I don't know why I'm telling you this story, but if you think you had a bad Christmas gift, at least you didn't get a freaking bag of unsalted almonds. If it was salted, maybe, just maybe I would forgive her for that. No, I've, I've forgiven her, but that was a shitty gift, not gonna lie. So, don't give your uh, grandson a bag of almonds for Christmas. Do yourself a favor. Or else he's never gonna ever give you any grandchildren. I'm never having kids for my grandmother because the almonds. Anyway, that was a complete tangent. I don't even know what the hell's going on on this map right now, but it looks like Blap Blup is a little overextended over here. Uh, I would look at this concave right here. You got these over here, you got these down here. Although these are kind of static. You can't move these artillery, so maybe you just go for the kill over here. If you can somehow, no, there's too much numbers. It doesn't quite have a power ready. I would probably retreat if I'm Black Blup. You do have the income advantage. I would. Go back, retool your army for a bit. I mean, this thing was a complete waste. You could have saved up for a Neo tank rather than buying a missile that one turn. Like, really just biting him in the ass so far. But going gung ho over here. I don't know what the hell is going on over here. Was it worth it? Definitely not. Definitely overextending. You're just going balls to the wall. He must just really want charge or something. I don't quite understand. I don't. I don't. All right. I think Jay the Peacemaker is gonna really give Black Blub a the uppercut. Jay, Jay the Pacemaker over here. Uh, but anyway, yeah. Okay, he didn't punish him too bad, but I just build like a medium tank over here. You can resupply like it's just overextension. You're on the two base side. Like, what are you hoping to gain here? Capture this property? Like, you can do that without doing this bullshit. Like. We're already at day 19, by the way. And here comes Jay, the pacemaker over here. He's bringing all his troops down over here. He's, this, look at this little shitty wall. Dead, dead, easily killed. But that is scary though. This is, luckily for him, one, two, three, four, five. Oh man, if that was a Neo tank, that is a one shot with the Kindle power. Bam. But look at these little bullshits over here. What are they doing over here, grazing? Like what the hell, what they been doing? Fighting copters? Did that literally attack a copter? That's what I was talking- when I was talking about almonds, this is what I missed? What the hell is this bullshit? Oh my god. Anyway, that's some weird shit going on over there. I- I don't know how to explain that, but uh, these- uh, okay, now there's an urban blight. Uh, let's see how much they did this time. 10k, I bet. No more. Yeah, 10k, that was- that was garbage. Let's see if he uses it to his advantage, which he doesn't look like. It looks like he was just pulling the... Ooh, 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 where's the peanut? Like, okay. Yeah, you get your peanut. <laughs> you get your peanut. They're like, here's your peanut. And then, like, slip a syringe. And the owner's like... Yeah, you got your peanut. But, uh... Now you're going to the lab for experiments. <laughs> I hope they don't experiment on monkeys anymore. I know they do it on rats. I hope they don't experiment on monkeys. I'm pretty sad. Yeah, here's your peanut, little monkey. <laughs> That's a, this is a dark uh, turn of events in my brain. But that's to be expected. Now, Jay the Peacemaker over here is uh, getting pretty close to his superpower. I wouldn't force it. Look, I wouldn't force the superpower here. Look, it's like you got everything out of... Yeah, you, you, low. You want to build up your units. Wait till you have like 35 units. You don't want to force it here. Let's see if he forces it. Jesus Christ, he's, he's forcing it. Forcing this out like a 10 pound turd on the toilet. That's, that's a <laughs> gross, disgusting analogy, but this the first thing I thought, like, Whoa! like he is for, he's just forcing the shit out. Literally forcing this little shit of a CO power out. Just gross. Just... Yeah, okay, use your superpower. whoop de doo da zippity doo da day Yeah, let's base. <laughs> Wow, we're at it, let's fucking base skip. 
Oh, this is 70, this is 750s. You guys wanted it, okay? You know, you know, we get, we're getting it. You get the, we're getting it. One, two, three, four, five, six, one. Like, why not just wrap around there? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, no. Get off there, attack from the city. Then he can't reach you with this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Literally. Why? Are you attacking with the copter in literally like the worst spot? Literally. Move this thing off that is not gonna capture that property anyway. Attack for, with the copter from the side over there like, oh my. I'm getting a brain aneurysm. This is a really weak ass uh, super. That was, that was honestly pathetic. I mean, they did 30,000, but the first one did 70,000. And I've seen Eagle Super Hours do 90,000, 110,000. That was pitiful. And he's gonna lose all these units now. Yeah, was that nice? Yeah, I don't think so. Mech spam over here, don't like that. I don't like mech spam over here. Uh, it's just... I don't, what are they gonna do? Like, it, I don't like mech spam over there. I'm just gonna simplify it and say it's a bad move. I don't want to explain all the nuance behind it, but it's a bad move. Don't mech spam on that base over there. Save up your income, buy a Neo tank. Save up, you can buy a Neo tank next turn if you built an infantry rather than a mech right there. Just think about that. Just think about that. Jay the Peacemaker going baboon brain, walls to the wall. Even though he's eagle, should be chilling. He has 23 units. Somehow is only behind 2k, so he should be happy with that. Holding back. Consolidating all those gains, heal up your units, heal that, heal these little garbage little dwumps. These are this garbage dump. It's probably like you find this in like the Safeway uh, dumpster out back. Like you don't want that, or not Safeway, Subway, excuse me. Well, maybe Safeway too, they all suck. Uh, but this. What is going on? Okay, this is a free hit, but. Okay, it's not a free hit, but yeah, okay, you're flexing on the missile that was completely dumb to make in the first place. I get it, you're flexing, but what are you accomplishing here? You're not attacking at pipes, you're just literally just sitting there just because you want to, you know, flex in front of your opponent. What the hell is going on? What the hell is going on with this generation? I'm 80 years old now. Yeah, not a free hit. Urban Blight. 10k again. These are some pitiful superpowers. These, these make superhero movies look good. And they're all garbage. Sorry if I offend all you Marvel lovers or Superman or whatever the other one's called. DC. More like don't click. I don't know. It's bad. <laughs> I'm just going to put it that way. Okay, well, at least he's getting a little feisty uh, fighting into the artillery, I guess. But he has numbers, at least. Black Blob does have numbers. I mean, look at this garbage. 60,000 worth of units, 21 units. Just fall back, man. Why are you fighting your eagle? Why are you fighting, man? Back up. Back the blub up, bitch. Back the blub up. Dude, I could hear that at a club. You're just like out of at a club. Back the blub up, bitch. Back the... Back that blub up, black that blub up, black that blub up. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's, uh, I'm giving you a hint into the new songs of 2023. You're going to hear it on the radio soon enough. Mark my words, you're going to hear that song. Uh, it's catchy. Uh, but here comes the March of the Mechwins over here. I don't know what the hell's going on over there. Like, uh, okay. Maybe it's working out a little bit for him. But it's really slow and hard to really take advantage of these over here. I mean, the infantry mechs is not a great matchup. You want, want to fight mechs to tanks, not mechs to infantry. It's not cost effective. Don't really have an entire and, and uh, correct positioning. Maybe that copter can come over, swing over, and do some damage. Drop some Agent Orange on those little mechies. But um, now it looks like uh, Black Blub is retreating for some reason. I guess he's just really afraid of that medium tank. He's got these half uh, live tanks over here. Um... But okay, he's got a lot more units and a lot more value. I probably would just go fight, dude. But I guess he's just going all out at the top now. Uh, I wouldn't be afraid of this. Like, it's literally one medium tank, some copters that you're going to easily kill with all this bullshit. 
and like some damage subway dumpster dive crap like okay but uh yeah he's just letting eagle sit back and uh eagle's gotta be loving that yeah eagle consolidate okay yeah do it do you man lose that copter here comes the mechs boom boom saving up the hp okay i see you see the thing about mechs you want to use them to fight not to capture that's why i didn't really like these mechs because you're not going to really uh, you're gonna have to combine a unit you're gonna have to combine mechs you don't want to combine mechs you want to yeah, keep the unit count high so i don't really like the mechs over here because you got to fight with them you don't want to uh, capture with them but uh black blood being really defensive now for some reason i don't know why I had six units soon to be like 10 units I had a lot in unit value i had in unit uh, income uh only by 2k that so i'd be pushing if he was ahead four five six k maybe then you can be a little more slow and methodical but against eagle who only is behind 2k you want to be pushing your pedal to the metal man uh but now uh now they're both being little no you attack oh, no you attack first no you like okay we're at turn 24 like i just spat all over my computer we're at turn 24 like all right, now we're gonna, yeah, just let him build up his units as Eagle. You don't want that. He's only got 23, but if you let him sit back for five more turns, he's gonna get to the 35. Mark my words, okay? You wanna do some damage. Boom, at least he's doing some damage at the top, Mr. Blup. Ooh, 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 blupping it. Doesn't give half a blup. I would have blocked with something just to get that cap, because this is a hard cap to uh, get back. Once you get this cap, it's hard for Green to get that back. So I would have would have backed that blup up. Uh, as, the, as the kids bop song goes but uh really defensive on the bot this is a strong side and this is a defensive one this is the weaker side and it's more of offensive this is uh i don't really quite understand the macro uh decisions behind this but 750 catchphrase 750 why do you do that 750 but what 750 this is how it is uh yeah black blup Head monstrously on unit value, head monstrously on unit count, and modestly on unit value. Soon to be ahead, I mean, on unit or on income. He's going to be probably combining units there and getting that as well. Maybe getting that next turn. See what he can do with it. Uh, no, he's not going to get this turn. Uh, now he's front shifting. Okay. I sort of get that. I would go in the middle. Why is he being so pussyfooting around over here? Just go in the middle, dude. Like, what is he going to do? Attack with a copter that's going to die to a missiles or something? Like, come on. Be really defensive. For, look, you have the lead, Mr. Blup. You have the lead. The lead is in your hand, Mr. Blup. Mr. Blup. If you have this much unit value, you have this much units, you need to punish. You can't just be pussyfooting. You can't be dabbling around. No, you need to be stabbling around. Stabbling around. Mr. Blup. Why am I calling the- I'm, I'm very formal now. Mr. Blup. Mr. Blup's like President of the United States. Mr. Blup, we have an emergency. The Taliban have raided the U.S. Embassy. Mr. Blup, we need you to sign off on 400 airstrikes on the Taliban uh, headquarters. He's like, Bleh. <laughs> That's Mr. Blup's, uh, that, that's, that means go. He presses the peanut button. Bleh. And that's, uh, Sir, we have launched all 400 missiles. 400 Taliban uh, casualties are expected with uh, civilian casualties as well. And there you go. Anyway, so now uh, Mr. Blup, now he does the golden 4K. Student's going to be 6K, I'm not going to lie. I don't think he's going to be able to stop that one with all these units over there. Uh, so Mr. Blup should be pretty happy about this. Let's see if he, can co if he can consolidate and really capitalize on this. I think he, yeah, I don't think, I don't think he can interrupt that. Urban Blight too, why not, I guess? Uh, I would save that when the medium tanks and stuff are on there. Let's see how much it did this time. 10k, probably? Yeah, 10k consistently every single time. It basically just takes away 10k. I, yeah, I don't like that as Urban Blight. You want to get some offensive utility too, not just wipe out a little bit of units. It's not like Drake, it's not like Olaf. You want to be attacking when you use it. It's not Drake or Olaf, we just use it as soon as you get it because you want to use it immediately. This is like you want to plan around it. Blub, 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 blub. What the blub, dude? You're just going to let him have that? Let him have that? Like, what is going on? What? Is he scared of the superpower? Dude, look at your unit count. What? You're scared of this little shit? Come on, man. 
And even, why do you use your power if you're on the defensive? Save the power so when he's capping these, you can stop the cap with the power. What the hell? Dude, Blob. Mr. Blob, what happened? Okay. Now, now all of a sudden, Jay's on the offensive. With this many units value, with this many units, he's on the offensive. What is the world coming to? Jay the pacemaker over here. Oh, he's coming in. His diabetes is spiking. The pacemaker is going hot. He's got an APC. I, for God knows, maybe he's building a stealth next turn. I don't know why you'd build an APC otherwise. God knows, but now the Blup has a 6k income advantage. And he's afraid of Jay. What? Are right, you going to attack him now at least? For some reason, Blup didn't capture this. I guess he's afraid of this uh, anti over there interrupting, but... Man, we're on day 28. Like, what? You just don't see this in games. You have a huge lead in every single count. And on the defensive, dude, make him spend his superpower. Make him spend it to kill these units. If you just back up, he doesn't even need to use it. And then he gets all the goods. Just the threat of using it is giving him the superpower if you back up like a little bisque. Like a little lobster bisque. You can't be doing that shit. What is this bullshit? Dabbling. Dabbling. Death ball. Jay the Peacemaker is behind on literally everything, but he has better positioning. Okay. That's kind of weird. But, uh... Um, no overextending, but I guess not... Really? Because he's out of range for the most part. I mean, that medium tank you get a first strike, but he does have the superpower. But this is not that strong. It's a two medium tanks, two artillery, and two tanks. And an iron tear. He has more than that over there. He's got a more than just like pincer strike time. Like, boom. Boom down here. Boom down here. Force him to do the super. Then you just win a war of attrition. Look at him. Don't let him get up units. Just fight. 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 I know you're going to have some bad losses in this superpower. It's un inevitable. You're facing Eagle, but you have the backbone to stand on. You have the income advantage. You have the unit advantage. You have the unit value advantage. You can fall back on that. You might have some early losses, but at least Black Bluff is having some counterattack from the two base side over here to the one base side. So not all hope is lost from just being pussy footing, but... You better freaking attack if you're just gonna bring him one single air airport or airplane over there. Okay, he's attacking. So now he's gonna forcing him to use a super. But you know cohesion, dude. Unit cohesion. You don't wanna have one half withdrawal, one half attack. You either go balls to the wall or your balls are shriveled up like you just got out of the, the pool. Alright? You gotta have you have the shrinkage. Or you're freaking attacking, okay? Look at my glasses. That's how serious I am about this. What the hell? This missile literally hasn't done jack shit the entire It hasn't fired a single shot. That's just pathetic. I root for missiles, dude. I root for missiles. I root for cruisers. I root for carriers. But it ain't doing shit. I think a super's coming now. Yeah, a super's definitely coming. Whoa, go gap in HP, uh, HQ with a 6 HP infantry. Okay. Do you, dude? I don't really think that's a threat, but okay. Maybe the APC is trying to get in there. Uh, <laughs> APC and infantry to the HQ. That's kind of whack, but okay. That's really far thinking forward if you actually plan this. That's kind of wonky, but he's got to be using the super this turn, I would think. He's behind by 60,000 at this point, seven units. And behind 8,000, too. 8,000. Damn, I didn't realize it was that far behind on and unit uh, income as well. Boomba. Medium tank comes in as a blocker. Okay, he's definitely going for the HP cap now. With a 6 HP. Oh, wouldn't it? Cap with a 6 HP unit, though. And what do you know? The APC did come in. This artillery is completely exposed, though, but... These units are so out of position, like, they can't really... hurt him too much. Okay, what? A bop? Okay. But, um... Here comes Urban Blade, at least. So this is gonna knock down all these things. Actually, I didn't do that much. 10K? I'm just gonna guess at 10K. 
10k? Yeah, pretty much. 11k. Same old, same old. But look, base lock over here. Okay, so just deal with this bullshit. There's literally... A, it takes 14 to go. It's only at 3. Just get the base lock and win, you blop. And just attack into it. Yeah, attack into it. You can't just let him have it. Of course. That would make sense. Uh, but this copter... Oh, okay, there's a, there's a fellow copter over there. This... Although this missile hasn't done shit, man. This missile hasn't done shit. Save your urban blight. I, oh no, you just used it. Um, that's kind of wonky though. Boom, boom, it's dead. Although, Jay the Pacemaker might be uh, opting to uh, block with his uh, medium tank rather than uh, kill. We'll see though. I would I would kill, not block. Because look, you have 3 HP. You're not capturing that in two turns. It's going to take you three turns to capture. So uh, let's see what uh, Jay does. Okay, artillery. He is blocking and attacking at the same time. Okay, not a bad move. Oh, he takes it off to recap. Smart idea, actually. I, I like that. Resetting rather than having a weak one. Okay, this is actual threat now. APC coming into play. Okay. Kill that. Kill that. Okay, I think you still get through that. Uh, scary, though. I mean, he's got the units probably to break through at this point, but you're like, bringing this shit down, you need to start streaming and just hold on and get the base lock. Let's see, you probably can get a power too, right? Alright, let's see. Let's see right here. This artillery kills this, this artillery kills that. Um, one shot that APC, you can easily interrupt with a, an anti-air. So yeah, so it's, it's not pretty easy to break through. I'm just gonna say it. And he's gonna break... Oh, I don't think he's gonna quite get that covered. Not... Oh, that sucks, that sucks, that sucks. But he's gonna get the cap next turn. Bring the mech in one over here. And you're good to go. Yeah, he can easily break through this. Okay, yeah, easy. Kill off the anti- Kill the APC, dude! What the f- Is he gonna be able to break through now? Oh, he's just going for the power instead. What the hell? He's going for the power. I don't think he's gonna get it. Seven fifties. Seven fifties. He literally could have won. He's gonna get that. He's gonna get all these. You guys wanted to see it. You guys see it, okay? That was. Um, I'm hesitant to call it a banger because, like, it was completely avoidable. But like, Arrgh! freaking vein on my forehead's probably popped by this point. My amygdala, my amygdala is like, exploded. Let's look at the stats just because that's what I always do. I don't even know what I'm expecting to see. So many more cops, one scop, just yeah, pretty good to split. So many more units built, but I'm guessing his kills to deaths. Oh my. Black Blood was murder. More units, more everything. He literally. I just realized something. He's at 34,000. Why are you taking the one? You can watch. The APC literally hold on one more turn. I swear to God. Well, you guys wanted it. You guys got it. I think Black Blood played good in the beginning. Um, it, with his builds, a lot of weird stuff later on with the mech chain and being defensive was probably the worst thing of all. Missiles playing defensive. You need to force him to use the superpower. Don't let him use the threat of a superpower being as strong as a superpower, you know what I mean? Like, force him to use it. Because Eagle is going to get less and less superpowers as the game goes on. Jay had a really bad beginning. Um, didn't really play great most of it either, but good for him for blocking well. I think he did some good artillery blocking. I'm trying to find ways to compliment these guys, but, you know, I was bad at one point too. And these guys have a lot of room to grow. Um, 
So I, you know, I'm just, it's mostly for comedic effect. I'm not trying to like shit on these guys or anything like that. Um, it was entertaining, I'll put it that way. It was entertaining. I might have like died on the inside a little bit, but it was entertaining. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, keep submitting your games. Uh, I'm stacking up bangers, so I have, I've, I've got a, quite a good few uh, good replay submissions. So you got some competition, I'll just put it that way. But I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Tink.